What is up y'all, it is your boy Zay, back again with another video. Now today's video isn't going to be really an unboxing really, um, because this item is loose, but I got it for damn cheap, instead of paying like what, $300, $200 online, and um, came in this, uh, <laughs> well the dude that was selling it to me gave me a bag two bags one bag for the figure and then one to hold the figure which is this one so and I got this from the toy vault and I said hey why not because it looked good in my collection Okay, there we go. Uh, I was just making sure he wasn't uh <laughs> correct, I guess I guess you could say. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, I finally got him. Who did you get? What did you get, Zay? Well I got the The this Doc Ock figure from the OG. Hold on, let me open his claws. There we go. This is Doc Ock from. Spider-Man 2. Just to stand up for you guys. Open all of the claws up for you. And we got Doc Ock. Now this is the, uh, what's, what do they call this thing? Um, the Claw Crasp Doc Ock? <laughs> oh, I'm not really sure, but, um, he has this hinge in the back, which allows for his tentacles to clap close, but it doesn't really work, so, but the figure is nice enough for me. Until that Hasbro one comes out from No Way Home. But they're branding it as Spider-Man 2 because um, of Alfred Molina's lightness. Who plays the character. But, um... It's cool enough for me. Gets the job done of being a cool figure. You know, the tentacles don't really, like, move, which sucks, but until that new one comes out, um, I am going to be having him on the display anyway, but, um, his head moves all the way, um, it tilts side to side, his arms move, he has the, uh, bend at the elbow, he has a swivel at the bicep. He has the wrist rotation right here. He can close his fingers, just the four fingers. Um, what else? And he has the legs, which can go up about that far. His knees can bend. Swivel at the leg also. And toe joints. So not really much of 
with this figure, but the claws open. The claws do open. But like I said, they don't have like, um... They don't really like do anything. I really wish they would have had the bendy wire in it. But as it stands right now, they don't. Um, they could have made at least the bottom tentacles move, but it's okay. It is what it is, but, um, but, but he does come with his glasses right here, which can, I think, go over his face. Yeah, um, they don't really get the job done of putting them over his head. Because there's no, like, pegs. I mean, the best you could do is... Okay, there we go. So he has the glasses on. He has the glasses on. So, um, yeah, so that's the review. I mean, the articulation is decent enough. Um, the coat, the jacket doesn't really get in the way of moving him because it's rubbery, bendy, soft plastic. But, um, he could have at least had a waist swivel. I mean, I really like this belt for the tentacles right here. That's a nice detail. Um, and I guess you could take it off, but I don't really have the patience right now to do so. Um... I guess he, I guess he has a good lightness to the actor, uh, Alfred Molina, which is my personal favorite actor as uh, Doc Ock. He's one of my, he's one of my favorite villains after all, and I will be getting that Marvel Legends one when it comes out. And, uh, and I love the detail on the tentacles with the gold and the silver, and even like the black wash that's over it to make it look like they're um not musty but used and abused they're, they've got like this nice dirt detail to them to make them look like they're dirty um now of course these claws right here are the bigger ones because these are the ones that make him like stand um but, uh, yeah. That's the figure, guys. Like I said, the detail on him is nice. It's really cool. But that Marvel Legends one is, I think, gonna look really better. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm trying to get the figure to stand the hell up. There we go. So, okay. Stand up. There we go. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, um, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.